Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Yes, I am sitting on the floor here. And the reason is I'm going to show you our Sumo Bot, kind of the program, uh, why we do the program, and then hopefully this week I'll get to show you some of the battles that will happen in our class. So let's go straight to what are we looking at for the Sumo Bot, the program, and then uh, like I said later on this week you'll actually get to see battles going on in the Sumo ring. So let's go to the the objective and then the program ready let's go okay here is mr hino's sumo bot no it's nothing big or bulky or fancy it's just kind of a test robot for everybody else to beat up on but um it's cool for this video because i get to show you what's on it and why it's there for so you know you guys can figure out what you want on your sumo bot but i'm just going to show you what goes on ours um we need to have our color sensor on our robot so we can sense if we're going to go off the table. So that's first of all. And then we need the ultrasonic sensor so we can sense the other robot and not just aim aimlessly wander around the board. You know, we actually can seek out the other robot and seek and destroy. So let me go ahead and let you just see the program and then I'll actually show you what it looks like on the brick. So we first put a two second stop, and I'll explain this when I go to the brick. Um, we then do a spin. We have the ultrasonic sensor set for 30 centimeters. We will go to a forward. Uh, we will set our color sensor for white, depending on what the outer color of your sumo ring is. We will back up for one second so we can stay on the board. And then we just loop the program so we can continue to, um, you know, continually run that program without any stops in it. All right, so let's go to the brick. Okay, everybody, I am on my brick, and let me go ahead and just show you the blocks for this program if you're gonna do this on the brick. So there's our stop for two seconds. Uh, we stop for two seconds so that we just give um, both team members a chance to get their hands out of the way. So you know, you know, we'll press the middle button to start the program, but if we don't put that two seconds on, sometimes the ultrasonic sensor will sense somebody's hand getting in the way. And so we just give two seconds to move out of the way. We will then put a spin on. It actually doesn't matter which direction the spin is um, because we do rotate the robots to different parts of the board. So we put the spin on so the robot will actually turn and try to find the other robot. And no, that won't be on for a time. Uh, the robot will spin until it sees another robot uh, within 30 centimeters. Um, we've tried 60 but it ends up picking up other people so we just dropped it to 30. So when we go to the board we just make sure we put the robots uh, lower than 30 centimeters away from each other. So when we when the robot senses that other robot we have a forward. Um, when you guys um, you know, if we were to import this program to a laptop, we would notice that this forward be on, would be on for 70% of the motor speed. So some teams might be able to download this or import this and change that to 100, but I let them figure that out for themselves. Okay, so depending on the outside of your board, ours is white. So we would set that for white. And if it senses white, there's our backup. We don't get too crazy with the backup because sometimes robots will end up backing up off the board. And then we'll definitely loop this so it just keeps running and running. So now we're ready to run this program for you now. So there's our two second stop. We got the spin. Let me go ahead and put my hand here. Sees white, there's the backup. And then we'll just repeat that whole thing over again. And hopefully, if your robot is big enough, it can push the other robot off the board. Let me go ahead and stop that. So, you know, you can incorporate what you want into this program. Uh, some of my students want, um, you know, a medium motor going the whole time. So we would just input that into the in between the program. So there you go, guys. The whole in and out of our Sumo Bot program. Um, and, you know, obviously, again, you can change what you want to accommodate what you want in your competition. But that's all we have in ours. And, 
usually if we do get a tie where you know some robots will just start pushing and then it just goes on forever we'll have a time limit so that it if it goes past a certain amount of time it'll just be a tie and then we have a certain amount of points you can get for winning and ties and then you know you can create your own system of how you win but there you go guys our sumo bot program and the board and examples and the program of what it looks like so hopefully yours is fun if you want to give this a shot and uh, yeah so later on this week i'll give you some videos on actual sumo bot matches all right guys i am mr hino from mr hino's lego robotics i am out